Hello, it's Michael Fernandez, the CEO of TV for Education, and it is my privilege to come before you today to address a lot of the misinformation that is being put up in the marketplace, especially against TV for Education. And it, quite simply, it's not true. So what we've decided to do is have a channel. And every time these items are brought up, we're going to put it up there and we're going to show you not only is it not true, but we're going to show you how we address the functionality people say we don't have or simply don't do. So sit back, relax, give us about five minutes of your time and you be the judge. There's so much misinformation about TV for education deliberately being put out there in the marketplace. So we've decided to address them by creating a show and tell series of all the different things that our competitors say we don't do. And you can judge for yourself. So the first topic we're going to deal with is that uh, you cannot share lessons in TV for education. And in particular, you can't share it with the teachers. Not true. Let me show you how simple and easy it is to do. OK, so here is my school's collection and I'm going to create a lesson before I do it. Let's go to my items. There is no lessons in here at all. OK, and I am logged in as library administrator. So I go to Smart Classrooms, create a lesson. It is the easiest lesson creator ever. And you can do some amazing stuff in here. The lesson is called Maths. Edition year four. OK, I can put in a description if I wanted to. I'm not. I'm just going to save it. I'm going to add resources. What resources? I can add TV for education, YouTube, upload my own files, use URLs from anywhere, including documents on the network. I'm going to use YouTube because most teachers use YouTube and it's the most difficult area to use legally uh, and SNP. So. I'm just going to be looking for mats and that's my video that I want. Add a video and there's my video. Now, they'll tell you that uh, or you can only do one video at a time. So just for the purpose of that, let's add another video. You can add as many videos as you like. Let's add a question. You can add as many questions, multi-choice, yes, no questions, missing word. Uh, what is five plus Five and the answer is 55 and 5 and minus 5, uh, 50, uh, minus 5 and uh, 10 and 2 and 42. And the correct answer is 10. Save that question. Okay, so I've got a video, a video, a question. But that's totally out of sync because that question goes with that video. So I'll go up and there it is. I can go and add another question if I wanted to. OK, but when I play that video, the whole video plays and it goes for an hour and I don't want that. So I'm going to snip that video. Just go snip and I'll go. Let's play that video. And that's about where I want it. So I'll go start on my clip. End of my clip. And that's chapter one. Create that chapter. Let's add another clip just for the purpose of the exercise. So I'll go start on my clip and I'll go end on my clip. And that's chapter two, but I'm not going to call it chapter two. And I'll go watch this. OK, and that's the second chapter. And that's it. I'm just going to exit out of there. Don't have to worry about saving because it's all saved. Now, if I give this lesson to anyone and they go and press play the video, Guess what? The video will load and it'll fast forward and it'll only play that clip. That's what's fantastic about it. And when it finishes, it'll go to the next part of the clip. And of course, there's your question. So I'm going to share it. I don't have to wait for it. I can share it straight away. So I just click share. OK, and just click the URL. And it says this link has been copied to your clipboard. It's fantastic. So remember, they say that we can't share lessons. So how about we go to our mail? But before we go, just confirming I'm logged in as library administrator. OK, so let me just go to my mail and there's my mail. And let me just go and compose an email. Now, 
I'm going to compose this email and there it is. I'm going to paste the lesson. There's a lesson. So I could put into any learning management system. OK, uh, and I'll say hi, year five teachers. Here is a lesson you can use or change. OK, and that's the subject. And I'm going to now send that to all my year uh, five teachers or to a particular teacher group. But I'm going to send it to someone specific because I'm going to log in as this person. So basically, it's going to MO, uh, MAF demo teacher and I'm going to send it to them. So I just go send. OK, and it's gone. OK, I've sent my uh, lesson to a teacher and that teacher is called MAF Demo Teacher. So let's click on that. And there it is. Remember that? Hi, Year 5 teachers. Here is a lesson you can use or change. So when the Year 5 teacher gets this or any other person that you're sharing that gets it, what will happen is it'll come up like that. OK, and it's quite long. It's quite encrypted. But when they click on the lesson, OK, the system will load, it'll authenticate them into the system, and it'll bring up the lesson. And now that they've got the lesson, they can change it, they can share it, they can do whatever they like to that particular lesson. Remember, I'm logged in as the teacher this time, and there's my lesson, and when I click on that, it will open up that lesson for me. OK, and when it comes to uh, um, Smart Suite TV for Education, you can see I've got no lessons in there, but there's the lesson. It's opened up. OK, and if I click here, you can see I'm logged in as Teacher 11, not the library administrator. However, now that I've got that lesson sent to me as an email or in a learning management system or any other digital share system, I can click here and I go duplicate this lesson and you're about to duplicate it okay that's no problem let's duplicate it okay now when that lesson gets duplicated if i go into the menu and i go into the search there's my schools collection up here okay which is every book and every video and every document that the school has but when i go to my items i had nothing in there but there's my lesson there's my duplicated lesson now i can click on that lesson and guess what when i click on that lesson that lesson's going to come up and i can do whatever i need to do i can share so i really don't want this video in there how about we just bin that are you sure yes bin that and i don't want this question in there so let's just go and bin that question as well and go yep okay and now what i can do is i can just sign up and that's how you can share lessons and you can take anyone else's lessons and change it whichever way you want so does tv for education allow you to share absolutely with any other teacher in your system you can share anything that you've created or anything that anyone else has created and then make it your own by altering it any which way you like.